So today I'm going to be doing my first update of my project pan. I'm really excited. Um, I'm very late to the game filming this because I like having it up on the 20th of every month. If you watched my previous project pans, you know they're always up on the 20th. Today's the 20th, so it's got to go up today, and <laughs> I have to edit it today. So I'm just going to go through what I, you know, my progress. So the first thing is this is the, I'm really tired. It's early. I have to go to work later. <laughs> this is the Aura Bay Gold Lust Dry Shampoo. I have like three or four different shampoos, so I'm just trying to go through them. Um, I just put this one in here because this is, I think, one of the best ones I have. I just don't like dry shampoo. I just don't use it. Um, it just makes my hair feel weighed down. I don't, I just don't like it. I just don't like it, but I do try to use it up. This is the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. I have had this for so long and I barely used any of it. The actual squirter sucks. Like, it gets clogged. So I actually pour it into my really small travel size of my Urban Decay setting spray. And I use that because that, for some reason, it doesn't get clogged in that. I don't know why. Um, I don't know if it's like how thin this is, but it's just, it gets so clogged. It gets so clogged. Um... And I also mix this with my Rudkin Frizz um, serum, and I put a little bit of water in it, and then I put this in it and this, a couple pumps of the serum, and I shake it up, and I have a little spray bottle for that, and I it makes a great, like, frizz during the day serum. Like, it is amazing. And then the next thing that I have is my primer. So this is my Urban Decay Optical Illusions Complexion Primer. I've used such a good amount of this. I love it. I love it. It is great, dear. I think it's awesome. I love it. Um, it's. I'm just a little concerned because there's rosehip oil in it and that tends to break me out and I just avoid my chin. So as long as I focus it on like the pore area, it, it works good, like my cheeks and everything, but I really try to avoid putting things like that on my chin because my chin and like right here, they tend to break out with like everything on the planet. The next thing here is my, uh, I almost said Urban Decay, this is the Pirates of the Caribbean highlighting palette. Um, let me try to like sit a little closer for you guys because I feel like I'm so far away so I'm going to try to sit like a little closer. So this is my Pirates of the Caribbean um, palette and this is the highlighting palette. I do have a pretty good dip here in Star Reader and in Bold Spirit. I really like using this as an eyeshadow. Um, it's a little bronzy for my skin tone um but it looks really pretty as an eyeshadow and then I finished up Destined I forgot I did that I finished up Destined and I have a okay dip on Fortune um unfortunately these two I'm not really trying to work through it's just the rest of these um but I love this and I wish that it was like a permanent thing because I buy it again but it's so messy and everything just sticks to it this is my bronzer. This is the um, Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. I will be repurchasing this after um, I go through a couple more of the bronzers that I like. I just bought. I think this is my favorite. So out of the bronzers that I've recently bought, including the Maybelline one, which I love, and my Benefit palette, this is still my favorite. This one right here, and I wish that Physicians Formula would come out with just this color. So they had like a white, like a yellow color a too dark color in this one and I actually liked all three of them as an eyeshadow look. I put this in my crease, this on the outer corner and this on like the rest of my lid inner corner. It was such a perfect like just throw it in your bag and go. Um, but I love this shade. It is more of like a dry bronzer like I don't know what to say but I just didn't have like it was more of like um, a gray bronzer rather than being like an orange bronzer so it it, it, it just it works it works so good on pale skin. I love it. If you find this trio, definitely pick it up. You will love it. Um, this is the Pure, my eyeshadow palette that has seen better days. Going through a lot of this, I wear this pretty much color, I wear this color pretty much every day, and these two colors are getting a lot of love too. And then this is like my favorite, favorite crease color. Um, you guys know I love this palette, but it's just, it's seen such better days. Such better days. Um... I don't know why I put my Gimme Brown there. That's not a Project Pan thing. Um, this is my Naked palette. I have a pretty good dip now in these two. And I have a pretty good... Um, these are going down a little bit as well, but I, I don't know. We're just really trying to finish up these four colors here. 
And then I did throw in two different foundation surprise. I threw in the Clinique Acne Foundation and my first all-nighter. I do have a backup all-nighter. Um, I just want to finish this up because I do have a backup and this is coming up to being, I believe, two years old. And I everything in my makeup collection, other than my Project Pan, everything in my entire collection is less than a year old now. I have completely decluttered everything that is more than a year old, which makes me feel good because now I can keep all this stuff for a few years and not feel grossed out by it like everything is good right now um so i'm using that up and then i again chose i'm only putting these in here because they're more than a year old and i didn't want anything in my collection that was a year old or more than a year old so this is and i mean that by like i mean lipsticks i mean like everything nothing is over a year old um but i love this acne clinique um liquid makeup you guys know i love this it works so good for my acne if this is too expensive for you, the Neutrogena Acne one is what I used for years before I started using this. Works just as good. And they both have salicylic acid in them, which is absolutely wonderful. So this is my world favorite, favorite blush. You guys know if all my blush disappeared, this is what I would repurchase. And I love it. So this is the Clinique Pink Pop. I have had this for so long. There's a lot of like blue undertones to it. Um... It has gotten so like and I got this when I worked at Ulta so this is actually no I didn't did I get that before I worked at Ulta I think I got this I don't know if I got it while I worked at Ulta or before I worked at Ulta but I've had this for more than two years so it it has a really bad hard pan so every time I have to use it I like have to use an eyebrow brush and like scrape off the top layer um, but it's so, so pretty and it, it, it's amazing. And I always use it as a blush topper every single day. So like today I have on my Mac, like the bouncy blush, and then I have this on top of it and I love it. I feel like it just sets it and it's such a pretty color. I would repurchase this again because this is my favorite blush I've ever tried. Um, but I do want to go through a couple of my other blushes before I try to repurchase this one. And then one thing I am going to throw out is this Revlon full cover foundation. I love it. I love it. And I know that sounds weird that I'm going to throw it out. I love it because I've realized how much I love it. And I used it for hiking and it worked so good if you have sweaty skin. But I don't know if it broke me out because of the ingredients or if it broke me out because it's old. I don't know. So this is going to be thrown out because when I was using this, I had the worst chin acne of my life and I didn't get, I had never really had chin acne before until I started using this. So, and I'm still trying to like kind of clear it up and get rid of it. Um, cause it, it's bad. It, it became like cystic acne and it's just not going away now. So we are throwing this out. This is almost gone. This is my little Urban Decay eyeliner. And then I'm going to add in a couple more eyeliners. Um, this is the NYX micro brow pencil. I rolled it all the way up to see how much I have to go through it. This is pretty much a full pencil. So we're just gonna use it as we go. And then I have some stuff on the side because I didn't want it falling over. And of course it did. I was gonna, I wanted it to like stand straight up so I could show you how much is left of it. And of course it fell over. So the first thing I have is this NYX Honey Do Me Up and it's the primer. I love this stuff. I don't know why some people either absolutely love it or they hate it. The next thing that I have, it fell over so you can't really see it now, um, is my Clinique Marimekko um, Lip Gloss in Peanut Pop, Pino, Peanut, Pino? I think it's Pino Pop. And it's actually down to here. So we're about halfway through. I bring this to work and just reapply, reapply. Um, it still smells really good and it's less than two years old so it's not you know hopefully we can use this up these i cannot wait to get rid of this i actually like so one of my friends told me to use this um on its own and these are the lip scents that i have that i'm using up and they said to use the moisturizing gloss by itself and i was like oh my god i need to try that so we're going to be trying that more often but I, I do like the lip gloss by itself and then this is the actual color I took the whole package like thing off so you could see where it is it is down to here right now I have to reapply this a few times a day it just crusts on my lips and I don't know if it's because it's probably gone bad and it's I want to say almost two years old so I don't know if it's like gone bad and the alcohol in it just like goes bad after a while but it smells so bad of alcohol and I know that's like the first ingredient in it and I just I don't I don't understand the whole lip sense thing I tried it and I just no no 
So that's the project pan update. We're going to get into my empties as you guys love the empties. I think I like during this first like month of quarantine thing and by the way I'm back to work so it's I am like we're open for curbside so I'm there every single day and when I have my two days off Sundays and Mondays I like to be outside. I don't want to be inside filming all day because now it's like getting into the 70s and 80s I just want to be outside like hiking, going out with my friends, going to the beach, so I don't, um, I, I just don't want to be filming all the time. So that's where I've like not really filmed a lot. So I'm sorry about that, but I've been enjoying the outside. Um, so the first thing I finished up is my Redken All Soft Shampoo. I love this stuff. Um, right now I'm just using, I feel like I'm cringing saying this, I have another bottle of this, but until I can get to a salon and get my hair like actually trimmed and healthy, I'm not opening a new bottle just to put it on like damaged hair. So I am using a Tresemme and my Dr. Teal shampoo right now. So it's bad. It's bad. I still have my Redken conditioner, but I'm being naughty and using a drugstore shampoo. I finished up this Aromatherapy Stress Relief Moisturizing Body Wash. I love the moisturizing body washes, especially after you shave. Your legs feel so much better. And this one was really nice because it smelled really good. And this was Eucalyptus and Tea. I finished up in the Walmart Makeup Wipes for swatches. I would never stick these things on my eyes. Um, for some reason, I think I'm allergic to the Equate brand for my eyes. So, yeah. I used up so many freaking candles. So the first couple candles I used up, um, I used all of my, every single candle that I have that's not a three wick candle, like a big one, has been used up. All of my smaller ones are used up. So this is a Sleep Lavender. This one I got from the dollar store. I loved this one. This was a wood wick, so it actually made like a really soothing, comforting sound. Oh, loved it. And this was my Bath and Body Works Winter Candy Apple. I love this scent. This is like one of my favorite scents they carry. I wish they carried it all year round. I finished up a Spongibles, um, the lavender tea tree oil for like your feet. I don't use it on my feet. I actually like get it wet and everything and I use it as a pre-shave. So like an exfoliating before you shave. That's what I love it as. And then I use the other side to lather it up and I just shave with this. I love this. This works so good to help you shave because it just really like exfoliates your skin. Two more baby candles. This one is the Inky Candle White Christmas. This one smelled so good. Yes, I used a Christmas one. Um, if I can get it open. Oh my god. I want to get the big one for Christmas time. I loved that so much. That was really good. And then I used a fresh cut lilac from the dollar store. This one smelled really good. My room is small, and if I keep the door shut, even if I keep it open, it will scent throw the whole room, and it's very, very powerful. Love it. I finished up a Sugar Plum Swirl Body Wash. I finished up my Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Plus, the Global Anti-Aging Refreshing Facial. I love this thing and I wish it wasn't so expensive. This is amazing. It's got exfoliating beads, but in a really thick, like, lotion consistency. So if you have dry skin, oh my god, this is going to make you feel so good. It's so thick thick and it exfoliates and you just feel really good afterwards like this is such a treat I literally would use that like I was using it like every day and then I got really like low on it and I started using it like once every couple weeks and oh my god it's so good I want to get this when the world like reopens and use it for like date nights or something like that where you're like if I ever go on a date that's hilarious um but like use it for like date nights or like nights out with your friends and you just want that extra like you know your skin's pampered. I like it. This was the Bikini Zone Anti Bumps Shave Gel. I don't think this did anything. This did not do anything. Like it gave two Karens. Just ask Becky. <laughs> My cousin will get that if she's watching this. Um, it says it fights, bumps, and irritates for smooth skin. No, I just use this for shaving my legs and, like, my armpits and stuff. I, this did nothing for me. Like, it just, it, it, it didn't. It didn't even get rid of, like, I don't know. It, all it did was, like, clog your razor. It did not do, like, anything good for me. So, no, I don't, I would never purchase that. I finished another one of my Tarte Shape Tapes. Yes, I have a backup. And I, what I do is I, like, cut, when it gets low enough, I cut the net 
and I like get my brush in there. You guys have no idea how much I love this stuff. And when you paid that much for this, you want to get every inch of it. Yeah, you do. Another one of my favorite, favorite things recently has been the Olay Whip Foaming Body Wash. I got one in a like uh, shaving kit, fell in love with it, and now I'm like trying to use more. I believe this is the one I got in the kit. And this is the Birch Water and Lavender. Oh my god, it smells so good. And it leaves your skin smelling really, really good. And like if you just want a super quick shower where you don't want to like super deep scrub your body, these work really nicely and they leave your body feeling really clean and they smell so good. Like you can like if you're laying down afterwards, like I was laying on my arm and I was like, someone smells like lavender and it was literally from the body wash. Two more candles. This one is Joy and Laughter Notes of Lemon and Jasmine. I liked this one. This one smelled this one smelled sort of herbally, um, but smelled really good. And this is a sleepy time. This was a uh, dollar store candle. Look how well it burned. There's nothing left in that. The Woodwick ones, oh my god, I love them. They sound so pretty. Last two candles. I told you, I went through candles galore here. And this is another fresh cut lilac from the dollar store. I loved it so much. Like, oh my god. This one I got from my brother's girlfriend for Christmas. This is Twisted Peppermint. I love this. I cannot burn this though for long and I can't burn it with the door shut because peppermint is very strong. Um, but it was, it, I felt like it actually like opened my sinuses and helped me with my allergies. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Um, it's funny because every morning I'll wake up and I'll be like, oh my god, my nose is so stuffy. I have so much mucus and like I'm coughing and it's like I'm dying of COVID no you just have allergies girl like you just gotta remember you got allergies i finished up a sexy hair tree try we leave in conditioner oh my god try saying that 10 times fast try tree try we leave in conditioner i love this stuff um I, the only reason i'm not purchasing it is because i have you know my living proof stuff to go through um i finished a tatcha water cream i actually used this for a good month I didn't hate it. It just, I don't think it's worth the price. This, there was a lot in here and I, like, I used all of it. Um, I brought this when I went on vacation to Hawaii and I just never, like, I don't think I ever actually used it because I had my Clinique stuff, but I brought this in case I wanted it for the plane. Um, so I came home and used it. This took a little over a month to go through and I just don't think it lasts, the hydration lasted as long as my Clinique Moisture Surge. So for the price of this, I won't repurchase it. Um, I'll just keep repurchasing my Clinique one. This was a Hey Honey Come Clean um, facial scrub. I liked this stuff. It was from Ipsy Bag. I just one of my samples I grabbed out to try. I have a lot of samples and I debated on doing like a sample Sunday thing, but I don't have like enough, I don't think, like enough samples to do that. Um, I don't know. We might do like a weekly samples I don't know. We might do something like that or I might just do it on Instagram, but this was one I liked it. And then this was the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. I really love cleansing balms. I want I'm going to I want to find out how much the full size of this is because I'm I really want it and it just smelled really good. And I just love cleansing balms or cleansing oils. Um right now I have a little sample of the MAC oil and it's take like it's literally like this big, the sample of the MAC oil. And I've used it already like 6 times. Like you do not need a lot of it. I finished up a toothpaste and then this I tried so I've actually started because I'm hiking a lot now and my hair is really long and I can't have it cut like because normally in summer it's cut to here um so it's like growing super long and it's just annoying and it's thick so I need something that's really going to get in there and um like exfoliate my scalp and get rid of all the oils from like being out sweating so much and I've been like trying to find a good clarifying shampoo. I have a Redken sample in my um, uh, fridge, my fridge, it's in my shower right now. And then I have an Ulta Order Coming, which um, has the full size of the um, Bumble and Bumble Sunday shampoo. So I'm going to give that a chance too. But this was a exfoliating, like it's got exfoliating beads in it. And I was very hesitant to try it. It's a sample. And it's the DP Hue ACV. I'm just going to show you this. It is infused with avocado oil and um, aloe vera. And there's pink Himalayan salt in it. 
and it was apple cider vinegar. It smelled god awful and it left your hair smelling god awful. I was so afraid that the exfoliating beads would um, literally be stuck in my hair and they wouldn't wash out. No, it was really nice. It felt so good to have something with hardcore salt, like coarse, big grains of salt, like you can feel them um, in your hair. And I was like, this feels so weird, but it felt so good on your scalp. I would love to try something like that again, but not the scent. I couldn't do it. This it smelled so bad. And you're it just it it was like almost like a migraine trigger bad. And then I just took a little um Peter Thomas Roth um moisturizing infusion facial bar and put it use it to clean my brushes. So that's what that was for. Last two things I finished up. My favorite things in the world, blemish patches. This is actually my favorite brand of them. Um, it's the, I want to say Hanho. Um, you can get them at Target. You can get them on Amazon. I love these. You just stick them on literally on your pimple and it's like gone. I don't know how, but it's like magic. Where was this when I was in high school? And then I finished up the Ali Sleep Gummies. I love these things. I've purchased it multiple times. Um, I just can't use them for an extended period of time at once. So I was using these to help sleep for like more than two weeks and it got to the point that I was taking three gummies instead of two and I was like, okay, I gotta stop for a while. So I didn't use them for a while. I used um, Tylenol PM and then I went back to this. So like as long as you don't constantly use it, like it will work for you. Like, and I haven't used anything since like I started working again. So, cause I won't wake up. <laughs> like I'll be dead tired all day. So. These are really nice um, if you just need help like once in a while to get to sleep. That is it you guys. That is my project pan. I hope you guys have a great day. I love you so much. Bye.